Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ah! <laughs> I am so excited for these to share and I thought what better way to share it than do a chit chat get ready with me because I need to beat this face. I need to go somewhere. I've been wanting to share obviously this news with you guys and I've also been wanting to share kind of just like my everyday makeup routine because I always get questions about it since I haven't shared makeup on here since literally last summer. So let's just throw everything into one video and call it a day, right? <laughs> so before I begin, I want to obviously just thank you guys for all of the love. Oh my G, I'm in the bathroom, so no mention of G-O-D over here, but the amount of love and just outpour of support that we have received, you know, this past couple days, I mean, I literally just shared the news yesterday. I'm filming this on a Saturday. It has been very overwhelming, like in the most beautiful way. And, um, you know, I honestly didn't really have this whole like elaborate plan as to like how I was going to share it online or anything. It kind of just like, you know, we did a photo shoot and I was like, I'm just going to post this. And I didn't really think about like, you know, how I'm going to share the news on YouTube and like how I'm going to do this and that because, you know, we've been living an extremely private life for the past four months now. Yeah, I never shared this yet, but we got, uh, or we did our nikah. We aren't like legally married yet. We want to obviously do a wedding and maybe, I don't know, hopefully sometime in the future and like make it a bigger thing. But we had our nikah done at the end of October of 2022 and it has just been, this like little bubble that we've been living in ever since. And um, I knew I always wanted to share it like sometime before Ramadan, um, but I just kind of didn't know when that would be. And um, everything just kind of like fell into place perfectly. And it's just so crazy that, you know, this life that we've been living the past couple months is now out in public. And I don't know, it just feels good. It feels really good to like, just be able to live a normal life again. Um, not that like it wasn't normal, it was definitely very much normal, but I think that's also why I haven't been super consistent with YouTube because ever since the very start of my YouTube career, by the way, whatever I'm using will be linked down below, um, hopefully in order, but I'm doing my brows now. I'm My brows haven't changed. Um, that's the one part of my routine that really hasn't changed much. I use the Wow Brow by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And what was I saying? Okay, wait, I remember. I was basically just saying like, you know, since the start of my YouTube career, I have lived truly so authentically. Like I have shared every moment with you guys, um, good and bad. And it felt a little bit, I guess, disingenuous of me to just be like living my normal life and like hiding this extremely exciting part of my life. Um, and you know, there are various reasons as to why I did so, but ultimately I'm very happy to like be able to just share it and, you know, live it and just be excited about it and whatnot. And I'm not saying, you know, every part of my content is going to now be about my husband and, you know, just being married and stuff, but I definitely felt like there was just a lot missing. Like there was things I wanted to share, but like. I just couldn't because either, you know, we're sharing a space now and I don't know, it just didn't feel good like doing day in my life and morning routines and stuff like that, like stuff that I would normally do and share um, on YouTube, it just didn't feel authentic to me anymore. So now I feel like I can just be free and be open and just, you know, share the true parts of my life. But that's honestly the reason why I've been a little bit MIA here. I think it's also just figuring out a balance that works for us now because um, it does feel weird to say us, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's all about me, me, me um, for the past couple years, but yeah, just figuring out a balance that works for us. And, you know, I am not quite sure like how private or what I will share or anything about our relationship yet. You know, we're still kind of figuring that all out, um, but I do know that you know, I want to be the most authentic self and for me, you know, it some may, some people may call it oversharing. I just feel like it's me just living my life and like being this person that you guys can relate to and all of that. So, um, yeah, 
So just, just you guys will be along with me on this journey. But anyways, I am gonna do my brows today. I'm going for a dinner to this really fancy sushi restaurant that I've actually always wanted to go to. It's called Yamashiro in Hollywood. And my friend Darcy is actually here from Toronto. She's here visiting. Um, you guys may know her, it's Miss Darcy online. She is in town. So we are, I'm not exactly sure who's gonna be there, but we're just gonna grab some dinner and have a nice night. So those are my plans for tonight. So I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup routine. So anyways, um, yeah, we got, we did our Nika at the end of October. If you guys remember, my parents were actually visiting here for about a month and that's when we did it. So my parents are here. We kept it very, very intimate, you know, my cousins and my brother and stuff came like a couple weeks after, but I think, you know, for what just worked well for my man and I, um, we just wanted to have our nikah, you know, make our relationship official and the more we thought about it, like his family doesn't live in Los Angeles, my family doesn't live in Los Angeles, and I just felt like we were both trying to make compromises for other people. And I feel like honestly, my entire life, I have been making compromises for people. And this was the one time that I got to just do exactly what I wanted and be selfish with my desires. And as long as I was doing right by G.O.D., doing right by my parents, like truly nothing else matters. And I, I feel like that's a lesson that I have learned over the last couple months and truly like lived by and my husband is the one who has really really helped me with that so it's still kind of a difficult thing for me to um, continue to do just like live life by my own standards and not have to like answer to people and not have to like feel like I'm catering to other people because of like what I want to do. I feel like so many people, especially when it comes to marriage, get lost in what other people's needs are. And you know, at the end of the day, Islam makes marriage so simple and it can really just be so simple and so beautiful. And like, I can 1000% say like, we have never been happier to do what we wanted to do when we wanted to do it. And, um, yeah, and I mean, things have been great. Things We have just had a beautiful, peaceful last couple months. And um, now that everyone knows, you know, we can just live in our truth and be happy. So, okay, let me finish these brows and I'll be back because I'll be taking too long on this regardless. Okay, my brows are almost done. I just got the base down. And then I'm gonna go in with some clear brow gel. This is basically what I use to like keep them furry looking. Does that make sense? Like keep them like bushy looking and looking like real hair. Cause sometimes I feel like if you don't do this, it just kind of looks like 2016 brows, you feel me? All right, moving right along. I, what primer do I wanna use today? So I'm gonna go in with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. So going back to the Nikah, like I mentioned, we got married at October, 2022. And yeah, I honestly did not share a single thing. I think my logic around it was like, I wanted to, first of all, make sure that like all of my friends and family knew about it uh, before I shared it with the internet. And then also I wanted to just wait until a couple certain things um, were completed before like obviously sharing it. And those things just kind of like took a lot longer than I thought, um, but everything happens for a reason. And yeah, like it was honestly so, so nice. I was so, so happy and blessed that my parents were there for it because obviously I wanted, you know, even though, you know, I technically could have given myself away, I have been married before, I live on my own, all that. Um, I'm super independent. Um, I just feel like it's so beautiful when, you know, a father gives their daughter away. And I really, really wanted to do that. And it was just so beautiful, guys. Like, oh, it was, I have some photos, so maybe I'll insert a couple over here. But it just, I don't know, I guess it still didn't feel like real yet because we weren't living together. Like as soon as our nikah happened, we wanted to kind of like, 
I mean, I call it, I called it like our halal, like boyfriend girlfriend phase, like where we're both not living together yet, and it's just this like excitement of like visiting each other and like whatnot. I mean, he lives in LA, just a little bit further away, so it was just. It was really cute and then um, he has moved in officially so we wanted to like get a place together but honestly I love living here and I had to be a little bit selfish <laughs> and I wanted to stay here for another year so we're probably gonna stay here for another year we just re-signed this is my first time ever re-signing a lease in LA which is crazy I've moved literally four times since moving to California four years ago. So every single year I have moved and it feels so good to just like have some consistency and like be able to stay here. And yeah, I'm going in with a pore filling primer by the way. This one is by Kat Von D. Um, it's their pore refining primer. It's like their newer one. And I really, really like it. So anyways, like two or three weeks after um, our Nika, that's when my cousins came. So if you guys remember, I, I honestly intended to post a vlog of that trip, but I feel like either I didn't get enough footage or I don't know. If you guys would like to see the lost files of those, I feel like I can post that, but it's just, I mean, it happened so long ago, I don't know. But yeah, they came, they got to meet him and spend time with him and it was really, really nice. It just felt like, just like this fun secret that like all of us were holding in and like everyone was so excited about, but like couldn't really say anything. Yeah, it's so funny. Cause like when I posted the Instagram photos the other day, all my cousins were like, oh my God, finally. Like <laughs> now we can talk about it. My brother was like, you were like one week away from me ruining this for you. Uh, which I'm honestly surprised he hasn't already because that guy just like forgets that certain things are supposed to be kept private and he will just like share it without knowing. So I'm very proud of him for not ruining the, I don't know, it feels weird calling it a secret. It wasn't a secret. Like everyone in my real life knew, which honestly I feel like that's the most important thing. Like all my friends knew, um, obviously, you know, my close family, everyone that needed to know knew. So it wasn't like a secret in my in our personal lives it was more just like online which honestly was really really nice especially for i feel like the new newlywed phase like just being able to live and like not have to answer to anyone and everything like i feel like by the time we shared the news this month like we were so comfortable in ourselves and we were able to just like do it in a state where we were both happy and just i mean we were happy throughout it obviously but it just, I don't know, it just came at a perfect time, like, you know? I feel like sometimes when you first get married, you're trying to, especially as a Muslim couple, trying to just enjoy your time together and like, you know, worrying about social media and like people asking you questions and just in your business is just not fun. Um, so I am very, very happy I did it that way. And like I said, I'm still not 100% sure how much of our relationship I'm going to share. Um, I think that's gonna be something that I figure out, you know, and I know there's a lot of people that are like, you know You should keep it private. You should do this. You should do that I feel like whatever works for you as a couple Should be what you do, you know, my husband is very open to and actually welcomes it like he wants to You know be in my content and like not necessarily in it, but he he just doesn't <laughs> want to be a secret anymore essentially so like I'm cool with that. It's just, you know, learning new boundaries and like I feel like it's just something as you get older, you start to put up these boundaries that make more sense for your life and like for me, I started my channel when I was 16 years old. I had no sense of any boundaries and I just like continued that way. And you know, throughout experiences, I've kind of just learned the importance of like keeping things private and I don't know, just I guess putting more thought into what you do in your life, you know? So still figuring that out, but obviously I will be doing the Ramadan daily. I feel like every time I post anything, I keep getting questions like Ramadan daily this year. Like everyone's just like, um, I need to know like <laughs> what I'm framing my days around, which is so funny. But yes, I will be doing the Ramadan daily and I actually have already been filming for it. So you guys will be seeing some videos, some like pre-recorded videos. Like currently I'm working on my office and um, have just been like redecorating that, which, oh my God, it's, it's looking so good already. And I'm like so excited to share that process with you guys. Um, it's definitely like more my vibe. Like I've sold some of my old furniture and I am working with this brand 
that has like the most gorgeous pieces so yeah and I also did like a DIY project so all of those videos will be posted during Ramadan um, which oh my G is like not even that long away it's literally like two weeks away by the time this video goes live I think maybe three weeks so prepping for that as well one thing I will say that I'm like so excited about that you know I get to do with my man I feel like I need to talk about this because I know not everyone that follows me is Muslim um, so nikah basically is like an Islamic marriage you know in Islam you are considered husband and wife however obviously it's not like a legally binding marriage with like you know the United States or wherever you live that is like a separate thing so we haven't done our civil ceremony and we will we just are figuring out what works obviously like I mentioned um, neither of our families live in LA so just figuring out something that works for us um, is going to be our main priority over the next couple months. But yeah, once we figure that out, that's when also our civil, civil ceremony will be. But I think it just makes more sense for me to call him my husband because, you know, Islamically we are husband and wife. So if you guys hear that or if you hear fiance, then that is what I'm referring to. But um, okay, let me just quickly go over what I did. Um, I used the Amicole foundation for my base. So I'm sorry if the lighting's like super bright, but that is what is on my base. I just mixed the shade Deep One and Deep Two. I'm kind of between these two shades. So I just honestly use one or the other. Sometimes I mix them, today I did mix them. And then I use the Merit Beauty bronzer. This has been like a huge favorite. I feel like it's almost done. Oh. Oh wow, oh they fill this thing up, never mind. I've been using this over the past couple months, but it's the shade Monarch, and I love it for like contour and cream contour and stuff. So moving along, let's use Miss Danessa. I have been obsessed with the Golden Hour color by Danessa Myricks Beauty. It's the um, blush balm, yummy skin blush balm I think it's called, in the shade Golden Hour. It is absolutely stunning so basically I go in with like a cream blush first and then I go in with like powders afterwards but I like to do my blush before concealer um, just because I feel like sometimes like if you do the opposite the blush can kind of like ruin the concealer and then also I feel like you can be a little bit more heavy-handed this way blend it out and then if it looks too crazy you can just add concealer on top and like you're good to go so that is what I've been doing and then I kind of go between brushes and beauty blenders to blend out but this is the same brush that I use to blend out my foundation it's by Real Techniques so I'm just gonna quickly do that it's so funny because I've been like wearing a wedding band the past couple months because we actually just so we wanted to like customize a ring together at the time that we did the nikah um, we didn't have time to do all of that, so I had like a really beautiful gold wedding band and I've been wearing that for the past couple months. And um, some people have like kind of seen it in my content and like I think I saw a comment on YouTube and someone was like, oh, you've been wearing a band recently, like did you get married and not tell us? And then someone in the comments was like, oh, she always wear band wears bands, like she didn't get married. And I was just like there like laughing to myself because <laughs> I'm like, like literally absolutely no one knew. Like no one knew except for my direct family and friends, um, which is just so funny. And like, I wasn't lying to anyone, obviously. I just obviously wasn't telling the full truth. I didn't like confirm or deny anything. People were asking me if I was, you know, talking to anyone, if I was single, if I was in a relationship. And I just feel like you just gotta move in silence sometimes, you know, like everyone feels so entitled to your life, especially, you know, as a social media creator, sorry, I'm looking for my concealer and I swear I just used that shit and it completely disappeared. Oh, wow, it was literally right in front of my nose. Yeah, I just feel like the best thing to do, especially as a Muslim girl, is to move in silence because, you know, so many people are just so entitled, like they feel extremely entitled. Like I feel like I went through this obviously when I was going through a rough patch in my life and going through a hard time in my life and everyone just felt so entitled and they were like, we wanna know this, we wanna know that. And I think from that, I just realized like if you give someone an inch, they will take a mile. They will literally take that and want every other piece of information about your life. So I just feel like I'm really glad that I was able to just kind of enjoy all of the moments that I was able to create these past four months and just start building our new lives together without the pressure of online. And like, by the time I shared it, you know, like we're just like 
comfortable with ourselves, you know? But yeah, it's just, it's just really funny. Like some people, or most people just genuinely had like zero clue. And I, I think that's <laughs> what's like the hardest launch of the year. I have to say, I apologize for that. You guys are literally like my online family and as much as I wanted to share everything about what was going on in my life, I just knew that this was the best thing to do for the both of us. And um, I'm really, really glad I stuck to that. And I'm also very thankful that people in my life were hush hush about it all too. You know, there were some, the, some moments that could have been, like there was like, I think when my cousins were here, like my husband was actually in some of the photos and <laughs> I was just like nervous that people would catch on because people are so in tune with my life. It's like insane. Like people will literally create freaking blog posts about my life. And like, I just, it's just a weird place to be in, you know? I'm just thankful that like I was able to do everything on my own terms. One funny thing though was like, so I feel like in LA, there's not a lot of, like in LA, like proper, not Orange County. But in LA, there's not like a lot of Muslims that are just kind of like roaming around. So I feel like honestly, throughout our relationship, we were able to just like live in the moment and not be like nervous about who's around and stuff like that. And it's just funny that like after we did our nikah, it still felt like we were, <laughs> we were like kind of like hiding away and like trying to like make it not super obvious because, you know, I don't know. There's been moments where like, you know, I'm at a Hadad restaurant and I notice people are noticing us and stuff like that. And obviously they know that I haven't shared anything. So they're like confused and it's just, it feels really good. Like I was literally telling him this yesterday and I was like, now we don't have to like hide. I don't have to like feel awkward when like people see us in public. Like it just feels really, really good. So I'm using the Amicole concealer now. Um, if y'all have still not gotten on the Amicole train, I don't know truly what you're doing, especially if you are a POC, have like melanin to your skin, you need to try Amicole. They just launched in Sephora US at the end of December and I have just been so obsessed with their brand for so long that it's so wonderful to see them like thriving. So if you guys still haven't tried any of their products, I'm still obsessed with them. I have been obsessed with them for like over a year and a half now. Yeah, I saw they just launched the blushes and I really want to try them, but my package keeps getting lost. So I don't know what that's about, but when I do get them, I will be sharing that on my TikTok. Which speaking of, if you guys still haven't seen any of the photos that I posted about the engagement or, you know, nikah, then those are all on my Instagram and my TikTok. I've been sharing videos and stuff on there as well. I think it's just like, obviously, YouTube will forever remain like my favorite platform. I feel like it's the place where I truly have the strongest connection with my followers, but it's just a lot easier to share in the moment content on you know TikTok and instagram so if you guys ever want to see like real-time updates you know i'm always on stories especially now i'll be able to like you know share a little bit more about my life and about married life and all of that again so that will be on my instagram so make sure you are following me there be there or be square I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer because I feel like, I don't know if it's this lighting or what, but I feel like I'm looking a little pale for some reason. Okay, yeah, we're good on time. I have to leave in like 45 minutes. So let's try and do this quickly. By the way, I'm gonna do like a full on Q&A or something. I think I mentioned this in the beginning. I will get into the nitty gritty of everything in another video. I kind of just wanted to do my makeup and like chit chat, talk about what has been on my mind. Also, been obsessed with the Amicole powder. This is an Amicole stand account. Love it. Will always love it. Love to support black Muslim women doing amazing things. And it's clean beauty. So like what is not to love literally? Okay. I just put on nails because I just got my period and I cannot open this now. I, don't, I seriously don't know how to function with nails. Like I kind of just put them on because I'm like, you know, I just announced <laughs> my marriage and I want my nails to look cute when people are asking to see my ring. And I just got my period, so why not? But now I like regret it. I regret it every single time. I'm like, I can't do anything with these effing nails. I feel like I need to do like a compilation video of like 
all the times that my now husband has been with me for like events and like just different times like if i'm filming a tiktok like what angles i've done to like avoid him in the content um because i feel like that would be so so funny like i just i am so surprised no one caught on people thought i was just living my best single rich auntie life and like while i was i definitely was living my best life i was most definitely not single for almost yeah like a year and a half two years not two years, more like a year and a half. Maybe almost two years. Almost. Yeah. I feel like I need to turn down these damn lights. They're just so bright. So I like to use a brush to set my under eyes and then I also like to just take, I haven't done this a lot in the past, but I like to take obviously the concealer in that area. And then I also like to just powder on top before I powder the rest of my face, just to kind of like give a more like sculpted look. I feel like also I've lost a little bit of weight in my face lately, which is great because my face was so swollen. Um, I've been working out again. Um, we've actually been doing F45 together uh, for the past like nearly a month now, which is pretty badass. We've been doing it for the first week. I think we did only three days a week. And then every week after that, we've done like five days a week. If you guys know what F45 is, it is genuinely like the hardest workout class slash like workout I've ever done in my entire life. Like <laughs> it's just, it's super intense training, strength training, like hit training um, all at once, but it's only 45 minutes. Um, and I feel like I've actually like lost weight. I feel like my body has like recomposized, recomp composition, what's that word? I think you guys know what I'm talking about. My body just looks different, which feels really good. Like I feel like I, like this past week, I had some like health issues, so I didn't get to go as often as I wanted to, but, I think I only went two times this week, but like I was like craving it. Like this morning I went to go sign up for a class and it was completely full and I was genuinely devastated. Like I was so upset. I texted the, the class and I was like, do you guys have any opening? Like I need my F45, like this is just so unfair. But if any of you guys haven't tried F45 and you live, actually I think it's like global, honestly. I think they have it in Europe too. I know it's like Australian born but it is such a good workout, like, wow. And it's been this like really cute activity that my husband and I do together and we keep each other motivated and like he has his own personal goals. You know, his body is already in top shape, but you know, he just, we keep each other motivated and like, I feel like that's all I've ever wanted in life. Like <laughs> when I lived in Toronto, I had my brother to like kind of keep me motivated and my dad, cause they're both like, you know gym fanatics and here now i have someone to like keep me accountable and like help me reach my goals and like actually support me and it feels really really good that was the charlotte tilbury powder bronzer i actually haven't used this in forever i just like picked it up randomly last week because i went to a charlotte tilbury event and i was like why do i never use this like it's actually very good so anyways that's what i used okay let's do the eyes now okay well i'm just gonna take the charlotte tilbury bronzer and run that through my crease because i can't find the eyeshadow palette that i usually use i usually use um the sigma beauty ambiance palette i must have put it away or something because i don't know i have this like like caddy this little caddy that like goes in and out and actually my man's bought it for me he's, he's so cute he like i came home one day and like he had ordered me this like director's chair because i'm always stealing like the counter stools in the kitchen to like put over here to like sit and film and like he bought me a director's chair so cute and then this little caddy so that my makeup isn't all over the counter which previously it was so yeah i've been loving it i'll show you guys like a full-on setup maybe during Ramadan or something. I'll show you guys like how I film my content and stuff. Guys, speaking of, Ramadan is so close. I still have like two more days to make up. I've been like making up my fasts here and there, but then I got sick this past week, so I couldn't. And then I just got my period, so obviously I can't, but I have to make up my fast like super, super quickly. But I am gonna be um, obviously filming the Ramadan daily. I don't know how consistent I'm gonna be with it, whether it's gonna be like every other day or every day, we'll see. But I am also gonna be working out during Ramadan. So I'll have to like share kind of how that goes. Um, I've, you know, done it like twice now with F45, like making up my days and it hasn't honestly been too bad. I'm just gonna figure out a routine that like works best for us and like just stick to it during Ramadan because I feel like 
I can actually reach a good uh, fitness goal during Ramadan because I can really lean out and like focus on what I'm putting into my body. I feel like I'm like always the most productive and like in all aspects of my life during Ramadan. So I'm super, super excited for it. I feel like this eye look turned out a little bit darker than I had intended because this bronzer is a little darker. I use this shade four, I think. Yeah, four deep. It's actually a really, really beautiful bronzer. I don't know if they have any darker shades. Also, if you guys miss a lot of my makeup content, because obviously, you know, I feel like my YouTube channel has like moved away from just beauty. But if you guys miss a lot of that content, make sure you are following me on TikTok because basically anytime there's a new release, like I will do a video on TikTok. Um, I've kind of like run into a really good routine with that. So definitely follow me over there and you'll be able to see all of that stuff. I got this new matte Huda Beauty palette that's so pretty. I feel like I need another inner corner highlight though. This is a little pink, but it will do. I love a good like bright matte inner corner. Honestly, this entire Ky Kylie palette is actually really, really bomb. It's kind of like disheveled now though, cause I used it so much. Like this color completely popped out. I kind of want to get a new one cause this is probably like my most used eyeshadow palette. This is like my everyday makeup look usually. Like I just have matte shadows along my lid and then like a bright matte inner corner color. I feel like, okay, Laura Lee Cosmetics, is slept on because the products are actually really really good i think it's called laura lee los angeles now but this blush palette y'all i don't know how much this is because i got it in pr i'll be honest it is stunning like it is so stunning i love all the colors and i feel like it actually is very like friendly to a lot of different skin tones so i am going to take two shades i kind of like swirl between all of them maybe like these three and do like a really pretty Pink. I've kind of run out of things to talk to, so I'm just gonna talk about makeup for the rest of this. Ooh, actually, I do wanna ask you guys what kind of videos you would like to see during the Ramadan daily because I do have like, I kind of sat down with Risky and like planned everything already, but if there are anything that, any pieces of content you guys would like to see, obviously food content is gonna be in there, but just let me know. I have been talking about the finance in your 20s video for so long that is finally coming i like kind of did my research and um you know i just have to put in a couple more things about like my personal experience i did all of that so you guys will see that video during ramadan as well and i'll also be talking about like halal investments and stuff and like stuff i've personally done and give like tips for that too but if there are any other videos like it doesn't obviously only have to be like Ramadan related because I push out a lot of content during the Ramadan daily but please just let me know what you guys would like to see um, so I'm using the powder by Makeup Forever right now you guys have definitely seen this before if you're not new to my channel um, it's the matte velvet skin Y375 shade and it's super pretty oh actually okay I realized I didn't really talk about my ring much but my ring is, I feel like I'll get questions about this in the Q&A, but I thought I would just mention it here anyways. My ring is this gorgeous like gold band. It's like a thicker band, which actually my husband picked out himself. Basically we went ring shopping um, and I knew I wanted to get a lab grown diamond because um, I just feel like it's more ethical and a brand that I have just been obsessed with for the past couple of years has been Vray. Um, and they're like a lab grown diamond like ethical companies so and they're based here in california so we actually went to their like offices here and picked out like a diamond and everything and then he kind of kicked me out and was like all right the rest is on me so <laughs> um he worked with their design team and created this beautiful ring i personally had never seen like a thicker gold band before like this um but i really really loved it like it is so beautiful i feel like it's so unique a lot of people are doing the like oval diamond trend like i feel like it's such a trend now um with like the thin gold band but i have a nice thick one and i think it's perfect because i actually wear a lot of gold jewelry and a lot of like thick gold jewelry especially like my rings i love a good chunky ring so it like matches all of my other rings and everything so well and 
I just love the fact that it's gold because I feel like while silver was like the more popular thing to do for a while, um, gold is like what I wear. I feel like gold is like the color of royalty and like, I don't know, it just looks good on East African European women. So I'm just very, very in love with my ring. Okay, this setting spray, guys, I need to talk about it real quick because it's so good. I got a fan first. Yes, the setting spray, it's the Too Faced Makeup Insurance. It says 18 hour wear. And this is so good. Uh, we actually went out for Valentine's Day. We went to this like really beautiful restaurant close by and we took the scooters because we just didn't really feel like finding parking and whatnot. So we took the scooters and like, one thing with me, if wind is in my face, like I will cry, like not cry purposefully, but like my eyes will get watery. And that happened and I thought my makeup would be destroyed by the time I got into the restaurant, but I went in and I like dabbed off my face without really looking at it. And I was just prepared to like, just see streak marks down my face. And my makeup looked exactly the same. Like it looked exactly the same. There was not one ounce of like a streak. And I honestly think it is from that setting spray. So that setting spray is bomb. Um, it's so good. And yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara. Well, actually a lot of mascara, but I don't know where my actual one is here. Oh, you know what? I'll use the telescopic lift. But yeah, sorry, back to my ring. Um, it is a custom design, so you won't really like see it on their website, obviously, but they do have like beautiful, like Vray has the most stunning designs on their website. Um, it is just like so, so beautiful. So I, you know, I'm very thankful for my ring and my man for just like designing something that I never would have picked out myself, but I personally love so, so much. Like it is gorgeous. I feel like you don't see thicker bands many places. And like, to be honest, so he actually did, he did propose with this ring, which was really cute. Um, it was after we were married, which my parents were very happy about <laughs> because my mom obviously, you know, she doesn't like when, you know, people do the proposals before the nikah, just for obvious reasons. So he did it after and it was so sweet and so cute and I wasn't expecting it and he surprised me with this ring and when I first saw it, I saw it, I'm not gonna lie, I was just like, that's not what I thought I was gonna get. <laughs> and the more I looked at it, the more I just fell in love and I get so many compliments on this ring now and it makes me so, so happy. And he is just, oh, he has a really great eye. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, by the way. I feel like if y'all are on TikTok, you probably saw all of the drama around this uh, mascara. My video for it kind of went viral too, which is crazy. Um, but I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite mascaras now. So take a look at the difference between these lashes. And I mean, obviously I have nothing on, but it literally looks like when we're falsies. It's so pretty. Side note, but today they were filming um, the Joker movie like right by my apartment, which was so cool. I was like watching it from my roof and um, I saw the Joker. I saw them like, it was like based in like the 1970s, I guess. It's like all of these old cars, but that was really cool. At first we were like on the street cause like we lived there. So we were able to like actually get in. Um, but then they were like, okay, no more, no filming, blah, blah, blah. But I was still able to get my, my sly photos. And I got like a photo of the ambulance and it said like Gotham city. It was so, so cool. So now I'm like very curious. Like now I feel like I need to watch the movie so that I can like see my street. And like, I don't know, I just felt like that was so cool. Oh yeah, so anyways, um, he did move in. He actually moved in the um, like over the new year. Um, and then we kind of intended to like make it a little longer, but honestly, I just, I just wanted him here. So <laughs> we moved him in um, a lot sooner and now we re-signed the lease together. So he is here. I had to like, I didn't see that's what I mean where like I felt so in inauthentic because I was like cleaning and organizing and like telling you guys about it but I didn't really tell you why and I like got rid of everything in like my bedroom closet so that he could use that one and um yeah making space for a man is not as fun as I thought it would be I'm not gonna lie I kind of enjoyed having <laughs> a full <laughs> two room closet to myself but we made it work and honestly I just I really I really love having company. I always like to use a brown mascara on my lower lashes because I just feel like it gives this really cool like sultry effect 
um, without looking too harsh. Like I feel like black mascara can look a little harsh under your eyes sometimes. So this one is by Too Faced. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is like not my favorite. But I have tried a couple more brown mascaras. Like I tried this YSL one. And definitely the tone of the Too Faced one is like the best one I found. So ideally I would want to find like a super thin brush that like makes getting under your eyes like a little bit easier. Like if this MAC Cosmetics mascara was like, um, what's it called? If this was uh, brown, that would be so good. I'm going to see if they actually have one. Because this thing is like super tiny and it like really grabs your lower lashes. Oh my god, also a little like nugget that I thought you guys would catch on to. Um, in like one of my last videos, it was like a Sunday in my life. I was like vlogging in front of my fridge and I have some photos up there of us like hugging. It was like at this like event that we went to together and it was like a super couple-y photo and like you could see it in the background of that vlog. And I was just like so sure that someone would catch on and they'd be like, um, do you have a man's and like what's going on here? But no one said anything. Like I was so shocked. Okay, let's finish this off real quick. I'm gonna do, oh, this is like almost done. It's getting messed up. This is the Westman Atelier Highlight Stick, and this is probably one of my favorite products to finish off my makeup. It looks disgusting right now because this is literally the end of it. Like, I can't even go up anymore, but what I do is I put this on the back of my beauty blender. I'm gonna try because it's kind of chunky right now. But I put this on the back of my beauty blender. I have to blend it out with my finger right now so it doesn't get too chunky. And then I just lightly dab on top of my cheek and it gives this a really pretty like wet appearance to the skin almost as if like you don't have any like product over there like it just looks like you're naturally glowing it's so pretty this is like the first time I've ever finished the highlighter which is crazy but I genuinely use this like all the time it's literally my favorite we have a new brown lip liner favorite. This is the KVD Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Crucifix. Don't love the name, but um, it is such a good liner. It's also retractable. All of the other brown lip liners I've ever had have not been retractable, so I love that like I don't need to have a sharpener with me for this. Um, and it's a perfect shade of brown, and this stays so long, so it's like their everlasting lip liner. And it like literally stays on your lips. I don't know if it's waterproof or something, but I will like go throughout my entire night. My lip gloss and my lipstick will fade, but this will still be on. It's also like super creamy, which is really nice because sometimes lip liners won't be super creamy and it will be hard to apply. I kind of just rub my lips together so it kind of creates this like ombre. I have a couple different lipsticks that I go between, um, but today I'm gonna use this one. This one's a little bit newer, but it's the Merit Beauty Slip Lipstick. And it's like this really pretty nude. <laughs> Hello, I have a little, I have a surprise guest coming to ruin my video. <laughs> I'm about to uh, go to fight. Okay, oh, you smell good. You using? Mohi, Mohi, uh, Mojave Ghost. Yes, yes, indeed. Wow, you look nice. I'm sure you don't want to come last minute. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying to get me to go to watch this fight. Guys, does anyone else's man, like, is obsessed with UFC fighting and tries to force you to watch it? But, like, I, I can't watch people punch each other. Like, I cringe so bad. Like, I literally have to cover my face. Oh, this is going to be so good. But, um, yeah, I'm going to head out. Alrighty. Are you, you're walking? No, I'm gonna just scooter there probably. Okay, we'll run over now. Alright, love you. Love you too. Bye. You soon. See you later. He wanted to watch the fight with me today. But number one, I probably wouldn't have gone even if I didn't have plans. I just do not I don't like watching that stuff. But he's like obsessed with UFC. He's having his plans today. I'm having mine. And that my friends is called balance. It's so important to like still have your own lives within a marriage and he lets me have that. So I'm thankful for it. See how pretty that lip is? I'm obsessed. Like I said, I'm gonna link all of these products below. But Merit Beauty lipsticks, I was actually surprised that they came out with a lipstick like this because they're all about like natural neutral beauty, but this is so pretty. I'm gonna go in with this gloss. It looks super light, but it's gonna help just like 
define the lips a little. This is by Buxom. It's their Plump Shot in the shade Soft Blush. So I'm just gonna put that into the center. Ever so slightly. That has been my everyday look lately. I feel like everything just looks so bright right now. What the heck is going on? Okay, well that's much better. You can kind of see my skin tone a little bit more now. But super glowy, super smooth. I love these products. This has been like my go-to look. So anytime you see me doing those fast makeup tutorials, this is it over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I have lip gloss all over my teeth. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, I will link all of the products down below that I used. And thanks for chatting with me. I feel like this was like the longest get ready with me of life. Like this was actually very long, but hopefully you guys stayed throughout the entire thing. I love you guys and I will, oh, make sure you're subscribed. Hello, make sure you're subscribed guys. There's gonna be a lot of videos coming up and you're not gonna miss, you're not gonna wanna miss any of them and I would love for you guys to subscribe. We have been stuck in like the 480s for so long and like, y'all, we need to, please get me to half a million. Like, is that too much for a girl to ask on her 12th year of YouTube? to get to just half a million subscribers, like please, support your girl. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I love you, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.